Hello and welcome. In this episode of GM Talks, we will look at what I call model games. It is one of uh, the most effective and best way of learning and mastering a structure or an opening. Uh, just using an example uh, that is sort of perfect, that gives all the ideas, and, and just learn it very well, uh, and, and and you will clearly improve your um, your understanding of of the uh, of what's going on, and will be able to play much better uh, when you're playing your, the structure yourself. Uh, so this is, is, is my recommended me method, and this is what I always do. If, if I want to learn an opening uh, with, say, say the martial uh, attack uh, in the Spanish, I would uh, maybe find a lot of Aronian games and, and, and go through them and say, okay, this is how you, you're supposed to play the martial attack. Uh, today we're going to look a little bit about a hedgehog uh, gone wrong for black. I'm white against uh, the international master, Stephen Source from... Um, from Belgium, it's in 2013. And I opened with uh, knight f3, knight f6. And I, I did this because I know that the hedgehog is not so easy to set up. If um, And he wanted to play a hedgehog. It's, the hedgehog is it's with, with pawn on the... Um, uh, oops. I'm just going to show you. Here, here, and the bishop here. It's a typical hedgehog, and he wanted to do that, and that's why I, I was very fast to fianchetto my bishop, so it will uh, make b6 a problem for him. Uh, but he, he tried to play it anyway. Here I play c4, and and already b6, uh, knight e5 uh, is a, is 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 a bit annoying. Uh, so he played a6, uh, played knight c3, and still uh, b6 is 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 not so easy. Queen c7, still getting ready, and e4, getting ready to play maybe e5, d6, and I played d4. And and it looks like black prevented d4. Uh, but the thing is, and this is something you have to know, this is not something you can find at the board. Uh, this is, is knowledge you, you uh, have gotten <laughs> from home and, and uh, taken to the board. And, and the thing is, he, he has to take, otherwise I play d5, and uh, here he could take c4. But white will get a fantastic attack if, if he does so. I play bishop e3, and then I'll follow up with rook c1. And if he hasn't cleared the, the, the c file, knight d5 will come. And then I can play f4 and e5. Or maybe. And, and all of these things uh, are, are sort of meant to blast black away. And it will be very difficult for black to uh, develop his pieces. Uh, so, so taking the pawn is is too dangerous, and he didn't do it. And 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 this is one of the ideas behind White's opening. You're uh, I, I will not allow b6. Then I can play e5, and and I want to uh, to not cover this with b3 because that's uh, that's simply a waste of tempi. And rook d8, and this was of course not his plan to to play like this. And here, and he's still hoping to get in b6 at some point. Uh, I'm still getting ready. I still, of course, queen takes e4, knight d5 is an instant disaster now. And I will continue uh, playing as aggressively as I can, uh, preventing b6, playing f4 here. Uh, so if he was allowed to play b6 and bishop b7, he might be fine. But I will not allow it. And he goes knight f8. And uh, white, of course, has got all his pieces into the game. He has clear space advantage and uh, should well, attack. If you start to to play uh, sort of simple chess and move around with the pieces, Black will get get his pieces out, and and you you want to blast him before uh, the ships has left the harbor, so to speak. So here White goes, and this looks. I don't like to to, to move my G pawn in general, but here it's, it's it's obvious that White has to simply try and and. and Blow him away. I want to play g5 and f5 and maybe even sacrifice something with knight d5. Uh, this is already a, a series of options in, in a lot of lines, especially if you go b6, I might even play knight d5 and, and put a knight on c6 and, and everything will be very strong. It will be very difficult for him to, to get his pieces out. He played a6 and in this kind of position, uh, I would normally love to play uh, h4. And then d5 and take 
with the H pawn, uh, keeping sort of my pawn structure together. This is what you want. Uh, but uh, H4 is very, very loosening, and I was afraid that he might go uh, H5 actually, and 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 I didn't want uh, it to be a mess because I thought he he is. Uh, I'm I'm getting all these pieces out so fast, and uh, and okay, even though it's anti-positional, it does open the F file. So I played G5, and and giving away this square, which is uh, usually not so nice. But, but I'm, I'm also opening the H file, and I'm opening the F file, and I'm hoping my attack will succeed before he gets his position in order. If he does get his position in order, his position is definitely fine, because it's a very healthy structure, the hedgehog. Uh, you can also see that his, his uh, structure looks kind of harmonious. He takes, and uh, here, and, um, and the idea, of course, is to... Uh, to sort of try and, and, and get him get him uh, killed before he he gets ready for anything. So the plan is simple. Go here, here, and then boom, checkmate. Uh, and black has to really f do something fast to avoid this fate because it's coming really quick. He could try g6 here to prevent queen h5, but it just takes another route. Um, a line could be something like this, and uh, he can he can already resign. There's no 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 stopping the the mate in 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 the ace file. So this was the only thing. But this kind of defensive setup with knights defending each other is usually not a a good thing. Queen h5, and uh, if one of the knights move, it will be mate. So he cannot move any of his knights. That's also why knight f5 is is could be interesting. He played rook e8. Uh, preventing uh, knight f5 and knight d5 uh, stuff, which could be interesting. I play. I, I decided to to play the knight c2. I'm threatening simply to go here. Um, and here cannot, of course, cannot take because of queen h8 mate. Queen d8, rook f1. Next rook, all my pieces are joining the attack. And here is uh, where the logic comes in. Okay, we, we got all the pieces into the attack, and black is uh, is sort of sitting there, and 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 he is he's at the moment he's not dead, but uh, but he should be. And white doesn't really have much more uh, to to get into the attack at the moment, so maybe he should be able to do something uh, immediately to 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 win. So and and this is where sacrificing comes in, and it's it's sort of it's not magic. It's it's simply uh, logical that you you uh, should be able to um, well to sacrifice something and win in in positions like this. So you should start looking for sacrifices. And here it comes e5. Okay. Uh, of course, he cannot take with the knight because of queen h8 uh, checkmate. We are opening for this bishop, and this was uh, the idea, because after this comes this, and uh, I'm threatening bishop takes t6. He cannot move the knight. Uh, he cannot um, take d4. I just go something like this, and and because he's lacking space, this is mate in next move. So only only defense here is f5 and i just take and of course uh, all uh, white's pieces are aiming at the, the king side and it's it's not a surprise that that he's losing something take here threatening mate in one take here here and here i just found this the simplest way to uh, to win bishop d5 yeah, he's melting down on the f-file and he has to give up his queen and everything is lost. Of course, he cannot take because of here. So, to sum it up, uh, this was a model game. White played uh, with, with great uh, energy, uh, trying to punish black for not getting his bishop to b7, trying to sort of sink his ship in the harbor before they came out. 
uh, always a, 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 a interesting and fun strategy, but also sometimes a little risky. When White had all the pieces lined up against the Black King, uh, he had to sacrifice something. And usually, uh, when you have all your pieces attacking, there should be some kind of sacrifice that works. So start looking for them in these kind of positions. Uh, and this game could sort of sort of a, a model on how white should play. In general, I don't like this uh, g5 when 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 you have to take back with the with the f pawn. Then you must make sure that your attack will will uh, go through. But I was I was pretty sure because I was way ahead of the, in development and had much more space. Uh, so I was sure it, it would do do that. But in in other situations, I would be a little bit more careful because it's anti-positional. The square e5 is giving away. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to like and subscribe. This was TM Talks.